What's going on guys? Welcome to my next LP. It's a GameCube game. Oh yeah, The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. Yeah, I'm going down the line. Well, I skipped Majora's Mask, but... Oh yeah. Never beaten this game, so this is gonna be like my first time through it. But, we'll see how good I am. 2002, 2003. And I'm not gonna lie to you, um, whenever I first saw the preview of this game, like years back, I was like real disappointed, you know, because I thought that Nintendo was going to continue like the graphics of build on the graphics from Ocarina of Time and, Ma and uh, Majora's Mask, and they didn't. You know, this is more of a cartoony game, but uh, I'm not going to lie to you, this is a great game. Really can't judge a book by its cover, I guess. Listen to the story. I love this music. Oh, more.
Okay. So that was, I guess, the legend and... Outset Island is where we begin our game. And there's a little girl with like a telescope. Big brother! Big brother! Looking for him. Maybe he's up there. There he is. Nice get off. Big brother. Damn, she's fast. He's sleeping, of course. I knew you'd be here. Hee hee hee, this is my favorite spot to gaze out of the sea when I play with the gulls. I call it Ariel's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday. Well, how would I forget my own birthday? Come on. That's why grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what grandma wants, don't you think? All right, we'll do that. Hurry up, big brother. Grandma is waiting for you back at the house, and I'm sure everyone else on the island wants to say hello to you, too. All right, so let's just drop down here. Oh. Yeah, so this is Link. All right, we'll do some exploring here. We can get some rupees from this house. Now, the controls to this game is very similar to Ocarina of Time. Um, actually, crouching. You'll, you can automatically climb something if you just walk up to it, but jumping is automatic. And R is to crouch. Just hit the R button. There's a chest. We get 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. You can also get some more. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a bit of exploring in this game more than normal because like I said, a lot of this is new to me too. I mean, I know this game's been out for years, but like I said, after like the N64, I kind of strayed away from Nintendo. I don't know. I just went into Sony and then of course Microsoft and stuff, but I'm back to Nintendo as well now. Alright, let's just hop up. Now, if you notice that thing on the right by the coins, um, see how that's it's like going down? Whenever it reaches the bottom, you'll like drown or something, so get out of the water ASAP. This guy's looking for like a pig or something. I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Oh, see, look, that black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me about how she really wanted a pet. You really, you ready to go? Grab it, Link. Now, you can't just run up to it. Pigs are too alert about their surroundings for you just to jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold R to crouch and tilt yeah, the joy pad to crawl slowly behind it slowly. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. Yeah, you could do that. Now, the thing with these pigs, once I have my sword, they're kind of like the chickens, the cuckoos in the previous games. You hit it a couple times, this thing will attack you. And it will, I think it'll take down a heart. And since I have three, I really don't want to do that, but yeah. Holy Link, press L right there and use A to talk. Yeah, this is like the, this is L targeting. 
kind of like Ocarina of Time with that girl. Oh yeah, I got a hold R the way I have it set up. That's correct, you're a smart one. You, my friend, have just L-targeted me. You see, when you press L, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to the folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press L just to face forward, you know. It's quite handy, indeed. There are a uh, maraud of other ways to use L-targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, yeah, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. Eh, I don't feel like it yet. Oh, the snot kid. Ugh. Ugh, that just bothers me looking at that. Mm, your grandma was calling for you, Link. So was my mom. And this lady right here holding the pot, she just basically tells you how to pick one up and throw it. Oh, Link, happy birthday. Hey, did your sister Ariel find you she was supposed to tell you that your grandmother is looking for you speaking of your sister she saw me at work the other day and she said she wanted to learn to carry jaws on her head like me so she could help your grandma with chores so if you see her tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and press a to carry it and to put the jar down she just has to press r can you tell her that for me okay oh yeah this is grandma's house and i might as well get this now if you crouch no, come on, crouch. No, don't jump. Down. And of course, choose to go left. It's your only way. We end up under the house. This is where my room would be. <laughs> I'm like a cave dweller. And we get an orange ruby worth a hundred. Yeah, so there's different color rubies worth, you know, different amounts. I think, the, of course, the green ones are worth one. Maybe the blue ones are worth five. The oranges are worth a um, hundred. And what, the, what was that gold one? 20? I can't remember, but I guess we'll learn the different values as we go on. You can save that for later, but I like to get it right away. Uh, what's up here? Uh, nothing. And the music's still the same, kind of. Well, some music, like if you get on houses. Carried some of the music over. Today is your birthday, isn't it, Link? Well, how nice for you. I suppose I saw I should congratulate you on your birthday, shouldn't I? Well, to tell you the truth, I can congratulate myself, too. We just finished building our little hutch and... Paddock today. Isn't it a delightful addition to the place? I was actually thinking of getting a pet and keeping it here. The boys would really like that, I'm sure. Boys love pets. I wonder what kind of animal we should get. What do kids think? What do kids like these days? Listen, dearie, if you see any good pets around, be a lamb and just, br and just bring one here. Be a what? Did I say lamb? If you do, I'll give you a little reward. Oh, but we won't tell your grandma about it, will we? I think she said lad. Yeah. I said lamb? I don't know. Okay, uh, you know what? Since we have 136 rubies right off the bat, um, yeah. see this boat down here? Well, there's a merchant inside there. We can buy a couple things right off the bat. You can get this done now or a little bit later. But I'll get it done now. Oh, a customer. Welcome to Beetle's shop, shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't want? If you do, show it to me and I'll pay top rubies for your junk. Nice. Okay, yeah. I want to buy. Okay, let's get this bait bag. This holds bait. It's quite useful and it's my very last one. You can't buy bait if you don't have a bag like this. 
Yeah. It's like a piggy. Yes, you got the bait bag. You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches. And you can store it to Y, Z, and X. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And he gives us a member's card. Nice, every time we buy something, we'll get points. Okay, I now have one point. If you get 30 points, oh, we get a silver membership, whatever that means. All right, let's buy um, all-purpose bait, why not? Animals will be drawn to this gourmet pet food the moment you put it down. It has three portions. She's your bait bag, yeah. And you can set it to X, Y, or Z, yeah. Bye. No, I don't want it, damn it. And the last thing is a hi a hi pair, if that's how you say it. Now this thing is, the purpose of this thing is, if you equip it and then use it, you can control a seagull, yeah. The special bait allows you to take control of seagulls. Choose your bait bag, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah, so the bait bag's right here. I'll set it to, uh, eh, I'll set it to Z, and then, yeah, it opens it up, and I can select this to Z. I don't know if this, do, if this does anything or what. Wow, that thing ate that up fast. All right, well, I think I'm gonna save talking to grandma in the next episode just because it, I don't know if it doesn't take a, like a lot of time, but I just wanna start that in the next episode. So this has been WBalls03. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.